Hi, it's Andy. Hi, it's Dave. Hi, it's Kirk. Uh, welcome to the ADK channel. And with us today, we have Jake and Becca from the wonderful Jackal's Backbone. Welcome. Hi, Mum. I'm on telly. <laughs> <laughs> we are heading over to the wonderful continent of Asia for a reaction to one of these bands. And look at Andy's head just dropped there. He's so happy. <laughs> Let's go check out today's band. Okay, there we go. That is the wonderful Hanabi, and the song is Envy. Over to Becca and Jake for your feedback. Um, so sorry, I was just trying to process the song. Um, <laughs> really so I heard straight away Maximum Hormo. Uh, Maximum Hormo is one of their biggest uh, influences, and oh. the band like them. Yeah. Uh, Reminds me of Maximum Hormo. Um. A bit of no effects because I love no effects. Yep. The bass bits remind me of no effects, and a little bit of days remember. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 good. Yeah. Um, thought it was very punky. Uh, a lot of sound. The bass, the bass was awesome. 
That's why I said no effects because his bass is similar sound. Yeah. Uh, you know, everyone says, well, Jake, you're in a metal band, but one of my favorite bands is no effects, one of my favorite punk bands of like, you know, from the early 90s. But yeah, really enjoyed it. Back over to you. <clears throat> Um, so I could definitely hear like maximum hormone as well. Um, I could hear like elements of like I wrestled a bear once. Um, I will say uh, the chord structure in the chorus. I thought it was a little bit rub. It didn't really go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, good work. Um, yeah, it was just a bit like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then like the slap bass came and it's just like oh it kind of perked it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I could definitely hear like some a day to remember like fusion stuff. Yeah. But yeah, it's okay. for me. <laughs> Fair enough. Andy? And we've done Hannah B before, so I didn't recognise the name. We have done one of them yeah. before, yes. Um, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm usually for these tracks, I was actually listening out for you know the rhythm section. I thought the bass and the drum sound was really good. Um, the, the harsh vocals, there were, again, I picked out two styles. There was like a deep, growly vocals. Um, and a more a raspy death metal vocal. Yeah. But then, and you know, the opening sort of verse was, was, was quite enjoyable. And then the guitar tones sort of changed. I thought, well, I know what's coming now because this is this is this is being this is becoming a bit of a formula, isn't it? And then it was like ridiculous pop vocals. <laughs> just just stick to a, a, a simple song. Stop trying to be weird for the sake <laughs> of being weird, or for the sake of this is what your country produces in the way of sort of, a, you know, music, you know. There's the sections that I really liked and then there's sections that I absolutely hated. So strip it out, yeah. put it together, and you've got one really good song and one terrible song. Mix it up, you've got a mediocre <laughs> song. <laughs> okay, Kirk? I think I enjoyed the last song. I didn't enjoy this one. This is about as edgy as a Mormon conference on the future of family planning in Salt Lake City. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was like a checklist. Pop punk melody, new metal groove, metal chord breakdown. This was not a good song. Um, no, I'll, I'll repeat, no edge to it. It's, do you know, this wasn't even a complex song either. So I don't think this did succumb to the stereotype that we were used to with Japanese bands. Everything was in 4 4 timing. You just went through this checklist. I agree with Jake. A day to remember. You've got a bit of like watered down <laughs> Linkin Park new metal. This wasn't good stuff. Sorry, there's, nothing wrong with, there's nothing wrong with 4 4 timing. Jackals is. No, no, there's not. Okay, again, I, I sound like a prank, don't I? Um, I really did enjoy the slap bass. <laughs> Vocals, redundant for me. Uh, just window dressing when she's doing those growls. Uh, this was not impressive. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, if that was the first time I was introduced to this band, I would never listen to them again. Okay. Uh, leaves it to me to wrap it up. So, uh, of course, being me, I really liked the track. So um, it's not as edgy as some of the other sort of Japanese uh, bands on some of the more complex structures, but it is much more accessible because it's got a more basic structure. So as you said, the 4-4 kind of structure. But I think that worked really well for that track. It means it's a lot more easier to get into. We expected that big kind of clean chorus. I love the change where it kind of comes in with that uh, almost poppy intro and you think oh my god what's going on here and then she kind of goes in that big growl and it just drops and i loved that bit uh, of the song that's probably my favorite part of the track uh like the midsection there was only probably that kind of scratchy bit over the chorus where she's kind of doing that scratchy vocal style i didn't like that that's the only bit of the song i didn't like uh but apart from that for me i really like the track mv by hannah b so screw you all <laughs> <laughs> And that is our reaction to Hannah B and Envy. Now, if you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe. We'll see you on our video sometime very soon. Take care. <laughs>